Hey guys, this is Eliza and welcome back to a new video. So firstly, I just want to apologize for the lighting, but my light has decided to literally shit itself three minutes ago. So I do have a light here, like there is a LED fluoro right above me and I have natural light over here. But if it's a little not as bright as usual, that's that's why. Also, like I'm slightly not straight. I mean, I'm, I'm not straight, but like that's better. I'm still not straight. Anyway, so welcome to today's video. I am doing my October TBR. This is gonna be a really short video. I literally don't even have any books to hold up because two of them are on their way in the mail. The other one's, I think, an ebook. I've got audiobooks. I don't own any of them. Right this second. But yeah, this is all kind of going to be a short TBR because Bookopoly is on right now. And if you don't know, Bookopoly is a readathon where you basically go around a Monopoly board and land on challenges. You read that challenge, you you roll again, you land on another challenge. So I don't really know what I'm going to be reading for those challenges. If any of these books fit into those challenges, fabulous. But otherwise, like honestly, I have no idea what I'm going to land on. So I don't know what to. I, can, I can't make a TBR for that. It finishes on the 13th of October, so I do have like two weeks the other side to read whatever I want. So that's why I just kept this one short. So that way, hopefully I can read these books on the other side of it. If some of these fit into the TBR for Bookopoly, then awesome. But anyways, that's why it's gonna be short. So first I'll start off with the physical slash eBooks that I will be reading. And firstly, we have the Ghost Tracks. This one I received as an eARC through NetGalley. And this one sounds really interesting. It's a YA horror mystery. And it's basically about this bloke who starts a paranormal investigation company, which I love that idea. There is another book I have read that has a paranormal investigation company, but I cannot for the life of me think of what it is. I was trying to think of it yesterday. Cannot figure it out. But yes, I've definitely read a book that's got this same idea on it before. I'm super keen to read this one and I do have it as an eARC and I've been really loving ebooks lately. For some reason I've been gravitating more towards ebooks than physical books and it is like a horror, so perfect for October. Next is The Hawthorne Legacy by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. This one I don't have yet, but I have ordered it and it hopefully is on the way to me. Hopefully it gets here before the end of October so I can actually read it. This is the sequel to The Inheritance Games, which I read last year and absolutely loved it. It was so good. I won't talk about what the Hawthorne Legacy is about because it's a sequel, but The Inheritance Game, basically this girl is just an average girl. She's just going to school and this bloke turns up at her school and tells her that this bloke who was a millionaire has left her most of everything when he died. She doesn't even know who this bloke is. To claim the money, she has to go to the family's home and like family's mansion actually. And then yeah, she meets like the brother, like the sons and stuff. And there's a whole family drama because like most of the family's been cut off and this random girl is getting this money and they're like, what the hell's going on? So yeah, it's everyone trying to figure out what the fuck's going on basically. And yeah, this is the sequel to it. And I'm very keen because the last book left off with a lot of questions. So I'm very keen. I might even do a reread of The Inheritance Game on audiobook before picking up The Hawthorne Legacy, just like as a little bit of a refresh, but we will see. Now for another physical book that I do not have yet, but is on its way to me in the mail, hopefully soon, is White Smoke by Tiffany D. Jackson. So I don't think I've read anything by Tiffany D. Jackson. I know I have books on my TBR, but honestly, I didn't know what any of them were. Like, if you don't know me, I don't like reading synopsises. So I basically just go by what I hear other people talking about them. I did not realize that her books are like, usually like mystery thriller situations. I just thought they were contemporaries. So that makes me very keen to read more of her books. But this one, firstly, the cover is stunning. Am I, have I put it on this side? or is on this side, I don't know, wherever. The cover is stunning. And also it sounds really interesting. It's described as a modern take on the classic haunted house. I am intrigued. I love a good like just basic haunted house horror slasher type situation. Like even though some of them aren't good, they're still fun reads. Like Clown in the Cornfield, I really enjoyed the read. Like it was a little bit problematic. Some things didn't add up, but like, I enjoyed reading it, like I had fun reading it. So I'm hoping that's what this is, we will see. But also if you have recommendations for like books like Clown in the Cornfield, like where they're kind of just a basic slasher, kind of predictable, they, they don't even have to be written that good, but like just fun reads. If you have any recommendations like that, please leave them down below. But anyway, so yeah, White Smoke is the last book physically 
on my TBR. Then we have audiobooks and firstly we have Falling by TJ Newman. I have been seeing this book freaking everywhere and at first honestly I thought it was an old book. Looking at the cover it just gives the vibes of like a book released in like the 80s or 90s. It's not. It released this year I think and it's been like literally everywhere. I've seen it on TikTok, I've seen it on Instagram, people have been talking about it in Facebook groups. It's been crazy. My cat is rubbing against the tripod so if I'm shaking you know why. So I haven't read the synopsis for this one but all I know is that this person, I don't even know if the main character is male or female, but this person boards a plane not knowing that the pilot of this plane has been told that he has to crash the plane and kill everyone or something happens to his family. I'm intrigued. This one I definitely put straight on my TBR and I have the audiobook unscribed so I will definitely be picking it up soon. It sounds really interesting and it's got like that horror thriller vibe. Perfect for like October. Okay so next for audiobooks is Senlin Ascends, I think that's how you pronounce it, by Desoa Bancroft. I saw this one recommended somewhere. I do not remember where. I can't remember if it was YouTube or TikTok or somewhere, but I saw this. They said the synopsis. I immediately put it on my TBR. Do I remember what that synopsis is now? No. As soon as I heard it recommended, I looked it up and it was on Scribed as an audiobook. So I saved it and I decided I might read it in October. But it is the first book in an adult fantasy series and I want to get a little bit more into adult fantasy, but I do struggle with adult fantasy just because of the complexity of like the characters and the magic systems and the world and everything. Like it gets overwhelming and it's like, I'm no longer enjoying myself as much because I have to like concentrate so much on every fucking aspect of it. So my enjoyment tends to go down for adult fantasies. So I thought I'd give this one a go though. We'll see. Now I have two graphic novels on my TBR. I haven't really heard of either of them, but they both came up on Scribed. I was looking for a graphic novel the other day for Magical Readathon and these two came up during that searching process and they looked interesting. So I decided to pick them up, well decided to save them. And then I'm thinking about picking them up this month. You're an arsehole. So first one is 100 Ghosts, A Gallery of Harmless Haunts by Doogie Horner. Honestly, know nothing about this. The, the synopsis per se is basically just like, what if ghosts were random things like llamas? Yeah, I have no idea, but I'm curious. So I can't even remember if it was a llama. I think it was a llama in, this, in the synopsis. I'm not sure, but it sounded intriguing. So I saved it and it sounded like it'd be like a cute, fun, graphic novel to read. And then next we have Low Volume 1 The Delirium of Hope by Rick Remender. Remender? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. So this one I don't know what it is but it is an adult sci-fi graphic novel and I have not been reading enough sci-fi this year like literally usually my sci-fi and fantasy is like fairly well on par like usually fantasy is a little bit higher but this year my sci-fi is on the floor my fantasy is on the roof so I need to read some more sci-fi so I decided this one would be a good idea I did not read a synopsis for it um, graphic novels are so short that I feel like reading synopsises for them gives away too much uh, so I tend to not read synopsis for graphic novels. So yeah, that is all the books that is on my TBR for the month of October. Obviously I have Bookopoly as well. So, so hopefully I'll get enough time at the end of the month to finish these or be able to fit some of them into challenges for Bookopoly. At the moment I have fitted one in so far. The current prompt I'm up to is a three word title. So I'm going to read uh, the ghost tracks for that. Let me know what is on your TBR for October. Are you going with a spooky thriller, mystery, horror theme like majority of people or are you just reading whatever the hell you damn well want? That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Yes, my thumbnail's a lie. If you've watched the video, you already know. I don't own any of the books on my TBR, but it's still a lie. Like, this is the books I'm currently holding up. I have not read any of these, but none of them are on my TBR. <laughs> Actually, I kind of meant to put this one on my TBR. Maybe.